All right, tis the season for fresh, locally grown fruits and vegetables, and finding them is easy and fun at your local farmer's market. This morning, we have some tips on using and storing your items for all that maximum freshness. Here with more from the Elizabethton Farmer's Market is Donica Curbs, and joining her, we have Joy McRae, of course, from the Chamber of Commerce. Great to have both of y'all with us. So glad to be here. I know you're excited. Tomorrow, yes. yours kicks off for the season. It does, yes. Tomorrow's opening day for the Elizabethan Farmers Market. Uh, we start Tuesday at 4 p.m. We run till 7 in the Covered Bridge Park in downtown Elizabethan. We're really excited. And you said people come from all over. Yes, it's shopping. a shopping. Yes, well, all of our vendors come from um, all uh, counties in the region. Uh, well, not all counties, but <laughs> a lot of local lot of counties in the region. Um, and then we have just customers coming from all over um, to our market because they're really excited that our market is a producer only market. That means that all of the produce and meat and eggs, honey, everything that you find at the Elizabethan Farmers Market is locally grown. It's not shipped in from anywhere else and resold. It is 100% farmer only. And Joy, I know for you, something so easy to support because you're supporting those Absolutely. businesses. Absolutely. And this is something that the Farmer's Market is a program of the Elizabethan Chamber Foundation. So it's an easy connection for us to be able to bring this back to life and bring it to our community. It was a great way for us to get some of our community businesses involved. International Paper has been so great. They've donated shredded cardboard. So if you're a hobbyist oh. farmer like me, if you like to putz around in the yard and grow things, this is great. It's great for, what did you tell me we can use it for? Mulch to keep your yeah, you can plants fertilized to keep some from. Walkways. Keeps them drawn out, walkways, mm -hmm. all kinds of great things. They've done into that. I know Northeast Community Credit Union came out as a sponsor. Our good friends at the United Way came out as a sponsor. So it's great to get our community involved. And then it really branched into a lot of great programs that are community based too. Wonderful. And you brought a few things today yes. because one of the things you don't want to happen is that you wait too long and then it goes to waste. So first of all, storing our good friend over there, <laughs> kale. Yes, this I is. I didn't know that's how kale looked. Well, this is lacinato kale. It's an Italian heirloom. Um, so this came from my garden this morning. And um, a lot of the questions that we get at the farmer's market, first thing people ask if it's something that's a little unfamiliar is, what do I do with this? Um, there's so many things that you can do with kale, um, but first tip I have is just for storage. Um, you want to store it in a glass jar with just a little bit of water in the bottom, just so it's just um, at the bottom of the cut piece there, um, and then store it in the fridge because that's going to allow it to stay fresh. It's going to stay nice and crispy. Um, you can keep this in the fridge for over a week and it will not um, wilt at all. So oh, nice. that is a really Party. good tip. Yeah, if you leave it in a plastic bag, um, what that's doing is getting a lot of moisture on the leaves and it that's just going to breed some bacteria, breed some mold. Um, so you want to uh, keep this part dry. You want to leave it in the fridge unwashed. Just a little bit of water down here, almost like a flower bouquet. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> and then you brought some herbs. Yes, I brought some herbs. So um, a lot of people uh, or a lot of um, vendors at the market will bring fresh cut herbs. And people are always like, what do we do with this? You know, it's, it's kind of um, something that you usually buy in a bottle dry at the store. So fresh herbs are a little bit unfamiliar to people. So um, this one right here is oregano. This is thyme and this is peppermint. Um, stuff like this can be used to season your own um, vinegars and oils. You can infuse oh, nice. it so you could just take some fresh herbs, pop it in a jar, cut it up, smash it down, pour um, a nice apple cider vinegar or red wine vinegar over it to infuse that vinegar for a salad dressing. Same thing with olive oil. Um, you can store those in the fridge until they infuse for about a week. And that is just a really nice, uh, fun gift idea that you can do for people as well. It's a nice um, holiday gift. So Mint and um, other kind of more uh, sweet herbs can be used to flavor waters and drinks. Those are really fun. All right. Lots of good tips. And for more, you can check out their Farmer's Market, as she said, kicking off tomorrow, every Tuesday from 4 to 7. For more information, you can call the number on your screen. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you soon.